excessively late to the ball game, YouTube. We are here at the newest dig site of our newest hay barn. Foreman, supervisor, job site inspector, jack of it all, get it done. Justin Moss in the excavator, loading up the dump wagon. We have Rob Pickworth in the pan. And what we are doing is this is called a borrow pit. We are grabbing clay. We are sending it all the way over to the side of the actual barn pad to make a good foundation. We have Ron Novak in the dozer, Carl Ryder in the Massey running the sheep's foot roller to pack it in. Brian Cavey running the uh, actual roller, Ron Novak's roller, to continue packing it in. But we got a whole army here, and I am doing nothing but filming, but this is gonna be an awesome, awesome video, I promise you. We have the drone up in the air, and I'm hoping to get an interview with each of the operators uh, to give you a little bit of inside the cab action of what's going on, some aerial footage from the drone, and a little bit of boots on the ground, and we'll see if we can piece together what the heck is going on, because I kind of don't know. This is not my forte. I just sell the hay. These guys do everything it else takes to plant, grow, fertilize, and store it, it seems like. I'm also recovering from knee surgery, so this is not exactly the terrain I'm supposed to be running around in, but you just have to do things for the YouTube. You guys got to see this. This is going to be great. The whole idea of this barn is, yes, we did pick up acreage, and we planted close to 600 acres of new hay last fall that we need storage for because hay takes up a lot of room especially small squares we have some hay dryers coming from canada so they're a little bit uh specific in the parameters you have to be along an outside wall because you have conix boxes on the outside that run the whole machine the furnace the blower everything like that you got to have 16 foot at the wings we don't really have that anywhere and we weren't willing to give up any other barn space where that might have worked but we had no choice we just got to put in a new barn So Robbie is extremely good at this. This is a lot harder than it looks. I think there's fancier pans with uh, auto grade and things like that. Robbie's controlling the depth of this the entire time with hydraulics. And it's very easy to go too deep and get, too, get stuck. And it's very easy to not go deep enough and not get anything done. So as you can see, Rob is doing a really nice job. It's a pretty level surface. He's got great slope coming in. For a guy who doesn't do this all the time, he's really doing excellent. I am standing in clay, which is really nice. That's what we try to get to around here to make a nice foundation. So they have found it. Justin's working on the other side of his man-made bridge, loading up the dump wagon with also clay that he's digging up. We had another pan going, but it broke. So we are just doing with what we got. It looks like the dump wagon and Robbie and the pan are currently dumping their loads taking clay over to Ron Novak in the dozer and he is grading it out to not quite finished grade yet but we're, we're hoping to get there Justin is a very talented excavator operator he is just so smooth this is also not nearly as easy as he makes it look his movements are just smooth they're fluid easy dump the machine doesn't start bouncing I mean it just looks like it's an extension of his body that's how that's how smooth he is if I get in there it's a lot more jerky it's not nearly as smooth and quick and it's not quite as memorable to be filming. So I'm glad he's in the machine and I'm the one filming. I'd like to give a super, super special shout out to Ron Novak and his family for helping us out. This is actually his excavator. That's his dump wagon. That's his pan we're running. That's his roller that I'll get over to. And that's him and his dozer. Without him, this is not getting done the way it is. So we're just super, super grateful. He is also our most recent landlord. So we're, we're happy to be running his ground as well. Have you found Bones yet? No, I was going to ask you. Mr. Bones ain't here. No, he don't come down, Spencer. What's going on? I haven't seen you in like a week. What do we got going on here? We're moving some dirt. Yeah. We're trying to get ready for the new barn. You look like a natural in here. Well, it's like an extension of your body. It's how smooth of, you are. I've done a lot of shoveling in my day. What size is this? A 120. What's wrong with the Komatsu? Broke the pin on Sunday, loading concrete. Oh, man. Actually, I lost the bolt on this pin started coming out, and I caught it, and I had to go get another bolt. But That's an operator catching actually, it. good thing Carl was here, because he went and got me a bolt. Good. So what do we got going on here? You got the, you got, what do you get, five or six guys running around? Yeah, yeah, we're trying to get as much dirt as we can. We had to bring that pad up probably three foot or something on the end. So what we're doing over here, I was trying to explain, but I don't. We need to generate all that dirt to get the pad level. So that way we can dig our, our foundation. I didn't do. We even got walkie talkie. Yeah. We're kind of big time. I didn't do a lot of good filming when you guys were scraping the initial pad. But so what we did is we designated an area that we wanted this barn to go with some some leeway for driveway and everything. And what we do, we take off six eight inches of topsoil. Top yep. Okay. We took the topsoil. That's that mound over there. Yep. Outside. Okay. And then we came over here and stripped the topsoil. Yep. Put it on the mound. Yeah. 
and then we started getting down into the clay. Right on. In this area here, it's more of a sandy clay kind of. Yep. But now we're down into some blue clay, if you can see over there. Yep. So that's going to be good. You can't see the so blue. We've got, we got a lot of different pockets in here, so we're kind of trying to just mix it together. It's packing really nice. Sure. So there's moisture in it, so it's it's packing good. Very good. Packing so how many days will this be on just building the pad back up? Uh, what do we got? I think we got three days so far. Okay. So we don't I mean, got I, rain till Friday. It's, I think we're going to need every bit of Friday. It's Wednesday right now. Yeah. Might be able to get it done. Well, we're hoping to. At cool. least we'll get, we'll try to get where our, our footers are going to be on the outside. Yep. And then in the center, if we have to, we've got like a 1% slope on it right now, which will always, it'll be level in the end. Yep. But if it does rain, at least it'll run down to the end where we have a drain. Perfect. So our wall for our foundation, well, at least we'll have the clay up where we want it before it gets rained. Run me through this real quick. So the clay won't necessarily be finished great because we're going to put some more fill in there yeah we're going to put probably two to four inches of okay. uh, premium stone in there so we'll build up to two to four inches below grade or whatever yep. Yep. put some premium stone in but we also have to dig the footers pour the footers then get some poured wall on top of those footers yeah. so it'd be basically like the one we did at home last yep. year so we'll just go around and dig a, a, a trench footer yep. once we got the clay to grade yep and we'll do our trench footer and then we'll set our wall and we'll pour our wall and perfect we'll what's going through your head right now keep the rain away yeah because now at this point we got we're concentrating on making a low hole so if it does rain the water will go over there and we can always come next to it start again if there's no more rain you very know smart so yep. the water will be down in there yep we'll leave a little knoll in the, in the pond there uh -huh. and we'll come over here to dry dirt again and we'll, we'll start working dirt again awesome but hopefully cool. we don't have that happen hopefully yeah. we get what we need We are in the cab cam with Robert Pickworth, hammering down on the pan. What do you got to say, Rob? Long day. A couple more long days. It's going to be a big barn. So what's your main goal here? What do you What do you got going on? We're trying to keep the digging right here uh -huh. because we got rain coming in two days. Yep. Get it deep enough to where, I mean, it's like 12 to 15 feet deep right yeah. now. If it does rain, all the water will come here and we can still pull dirt from the other side. Yeah. Are you, you're just grabbing clay and, and dumping it in front of the dozer where you're supposed to? That's basically the name of the game. What's yeah. the hardest part about running this? Staying moving. It's just so greasy from the play. Yeah, right. You couldn't have too big of a tractor on this. No. It takes a lot of force to pull. Yeah. So this is, uh, what's that transmission called? It's, it's just a, a power shift. Power shift. I think this thing would have been new in like 2000. Yeah. She's got some life on her. 7,700 hours. Yeah, I watched her pass today. <laughs> nice. What do you got as background noise? You playing some, uh, oh, what is that? Uh, wait, I can't think of the name. Jerry Springer? The Jerry Springer Show? <laughs> no, not today. No. How's Brian doing? You keeping an eye on him? He always does pretty well. Yeah. He shows up. That's half the battle. Yeah, I know. So you're just kind of eyeballing where's low after Ron gave general directions? Yeah, for the most part. Uh -huh. I mean, he'll tell me where he wants it sometimes. And, and then you're using your hydraulics and you're just, that front gate lifts and it just dumps. Everything comes together because of what Ron's doing now, which is getting everything to grade. I believe the whole idea of this is that you don't want to throw too much clay in at one time. You want to do this in layers so that the packers can get a chance to seal it up tight and pack it down and we don't have issues in the future. Ron really knows what he's doing in this machine. He's a heck of an operator. Ron's one of those guys that really just does just about everything. Does some farming, does some dirt work. His main job is he's a contractor. He builds, I mean, I think he's got like 15 jobs, but from what I know, he builds uh, commercial buildings for a couple big companies. He's got rentals, you name it. The guy does it all. There's nothing he doesn't have his hands in. So the YouTube favorite, Carl, he pretty much goes into hibernation over the winter, but when a lot of action's going on, you can count on him being back. We'll see if he's got anything good to say. What's going on, buddy? walking all over the place. I know, this isn't good for me. What do we got going on, YouTube Carl? I don't know. Is this, you like this newer tractor? This 165 yeah, Massey? Oh, well, that's not PTO, that's engine, right? Because they don't, they don't build them like they used to. Engine's higher than PTO. Didn't they used to advertise PTO? Yeah, PTO. Yeah. Right. Now you know, they're advertising engine. Engine. Uh, People think they're big and they ain't as big as they think they are. <laughs> What's your goal here, buddy? Keep the ground down a little Whoa. bit. Whoa, what do you got behind you? A sheep's foot roller? I guess. If I got this right, your job is to pretty much uh, pack down what rods yeah, are right here. Yeah, after we get it graded. Yep. Kind of poke holes in it, pack it down. 
if I do it when it was really rough, yeah. like when they were pulling that heavy clay up, mm -hmm. I'd go over it a few times and he couldn't even hardly get it broke. Wow, it works that well? Yeah, it was amazing. Is that because of the operator? Or do you I don't know, it's just because of the design of the tool, I think. You like my hat? Yeah. This is going to be a big old barn, buddy. Is it? Yeah. How's the blueberries looking? Okay over there? I guess. Yeah. I think they're going to start watering them here soon. I hope. You got any Diet Cola in here? I didn't hear it. There's some in the barn. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. You're paired up against 100 random people. And if you can do one thing better than all 100 people, you win a billion dollars. What yeah. are you going to try to do? I don't know. Why would you think of my sleeve? <laughs> Besides my arm. My short arm. Oh, all right. I'm going to go try to get Brian. See if he's nervous. All right. And, uh... Keep the drone up in the air and... Yeah. Oh, man! It's because they take that big dump wagon and turn it there. Why don't you yell at them? Why? Call them and yell. You would call and yell at me. All right, see you, buddy. So the sheep's foot, it doesn't look like it's taking a whole lot of thought, but Carl is really about the perfect kind of guy for this. He's always scouting the area, making sure things are right. What he, Carl is really, really good at is paying attention to everyone else and making sure they're not doing anything wrong. And I know that sounds condescending, but you, you need to have a guy like that on every job site. And what he does is he notices when things are loose. He notices when someone's tires falling off. I mean, the guy just really spots about everything. And I think that's probably because he's been a mechanic for 60 years. He sees things happening and he, he saves us a lot of time and a lot of money just by finding stuff ahead of time and he does a great job so this is a perfect position for him to be in We have hired six new guys this year, and in that crew of six, we have, we'll call him Greenhorn, Brian. And Brian shows up after school, he goes to school at the JBS, he is a diesel mechanic, and afterwards he comes and helps us out. He rebales, he runs equipment, he maintains stuff, he's doing a really, really good job, and we're super excited to see him in the fields this year actually making hay. Some of this stuff is maybe a little bit boring, but stick it out, the summer gets really fun and really awesome. And it, we couldn't be happier, he's doing a great job. He is running Ron Novak's vibratory roller, so it's got the same concept as the sheep foot that Carl's running but I can actually feel the ground shake underneath my feet so that really fills in all the gaps and man that's doing a nice job I don't think you can pack better than this machine what's going on awesome. how you doing good how are you? what are you running in here a roller yeah with a vibration in it is it fun yeah it's actually pretty smooth isn't it, yeah, it is. so your job isn't all too fast no nope. you're just working this like a grid yeah. So what's going through your head right now? Pack it in. Stay out of people's way? Stay out of those people's way. <laughs> it's amazing. You can be like 15 feet away and you can feel this thing vibrate. It's yeah. incredible. All right, B-Shift. Keep going at it. What's your job? I don't even know if I got one on this job here. <laughs> What's going on over here? I'll tell you what, these guys are doing a good job. They're doing a great this, job. This pad's getting close to getting Complete. Yes. I haven't really gave uh, anyone the, the scoop on what's going down. What are we doing over here? Well, we're getting a pad ready for a 180 by 300 foot barn. That's a big barn. And uh, that's the barn that's going to have our Chinook hay dryers put in it also. We're hoping once we have everything going, it makes drying hay and getting hay off the fields a little bit easier with the weather we have to fight with up here. Quite honestly, that's really our biggest issue. I yeah, mean, the weather. If, if we make quality hay, it usually sells a good price, but man, the weather kills us. Yeah, when, when we'll be able to bale hay almost a day sooner, that just adds to the uh, better color and everything like that. And we don't, when the, the storms come in earlier than what they're saying, all of a sudden you don't get hay ruined. Yep. So, it should really make a big difference in our operation. Uh, I've been here for about four hours now. It's 8.30. The crew has been dropping like flies. We're down to the remaining stragglers. Uh, down to the remaining stragglers. The sheep's foot running, the does are back there. An excavator filling up the last dump wagon dump. And I think it's time to shut down for the night. I haven't been following the grade too well. That's the laser tower right there. I guess we need about six more inches across the entire pad. So I, I hope we can do it in about two days. There's rain coming in Friday night. It is currently Wednesday night. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be happy. As Soon as that rain comes through, we should be able to start digging the footers, get that poured, get the walls up. We have to do a bunch of fancy stuff along the northern wall here because that's where the hay dryer is going to vent in and some hydraulic lines going out. We have a bunch of ventilation because 
because the hay dryer obviously shoots humidity and moisture into the air that's pulling out of the hay. So there'll be a lot of, lot of fancy things going on on this side of the building. So we are really excited. Stay tuned. Videos are going to be popping out. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful week.